Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper Sight. How the devil are you, mate? First of all, I want to apologize for the last three, three videos. There's been this... On my microphone, right? It's been doing my head in. My wires got crossed over with all the other electrics at the back of the PC and it was causing interference. So hopefully, fingers crossed, you're not hearing any buzz now. Hence why I've been putting music audio, like audio over my intros lately. Just to try and drown it out a little bit. It's been doing my head in. Let's get on to the paranormal. So today we are going to be looking at some nine scary videos that will baffle you. Okay, these nine scary videos will baffle you. If you haven't subscribed yet and you're into ghosts, paranormal, UFOs, aliens, weird anomalies, strange things, whatever, mate, subscribe to this channel. It's absolutely free. We cover all of that. All right. This video is by Sir Spooks. Okay. Make sure you go to his channel, subscribe, and do the thing whilst you're subscribing to my channel. All right. So, like I say, nine scary videos that will baffle you. Will they baffle me? We'll find out today, okay? Without further ado, die diddly day. Let's do this. Shh. I spat and swallowed at the same time. <laughs> Shh. Go on, sis, Spooks. Come on. <sighs> Hello, everyone. My Hello, name is everyone. Sir Spooks, and today we'll take a look at nine scary videos. Hmm. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more scary content. All right. With that said, let's begin. Number nine. This first video we'll be taking a look at today comes to us from Reddit user known as Iggy Tall 15, who shared the eerie footage over on the Ghost subreddit, where it has been the talk of the community for the past few days. In the video, we watch home security camera footage of the uploader simply wandering around his house and doing everyday things, when out of nowhere, something startles him and completely ruins his day. Understandably so. Have a listen. Nice He was like, motherfucker, I'm gone. I'm gone. Was it the... Where did it come from? Because I did notice that the dog yawned at that time, right? Where does he look? <laughs> oh, bless that dog. May. Did you hear it? But he heard it, but... So he didn't... He didn't turn around and look at the dog, right? Or turn around in that direction for the sound. That sound looks... It seems to me like it was actually coming from the room. Out of nowhere, an unsettling voice can be heard whispering his name, Mike. Oh, okay. Mike, the uploader, says that initially... He believes that the voice was coming from one of his children who he assumed had just wandered downstairs, without him noticing, but says that he bolted whenever he realized that that was not the case. I don't know, I because sometimes dogs can make some weird noise, like, did it go, Mike? Like, not, it didn't actually go, Mike, but, you know, you know when they go, like that. Obviously, so the description was, like, he thought, like one of his kids were coming down the stairs. That tells you that the sound was in that area. He says that the video was filmed at around 12 a.m. and says that it was just him plus the dogs and the cat mm. that were awake at that hour. Mike also points out that the house is from the 1850s and was built on a graveyard. <laughs> and a crew member whose life was taken in the infamous Halifax explosion oh. lived in the home in the early 1900s, which just makes things so much more interesting. Is it possible that the house is being haunted by the spirit of a man who passed away as a result of the explosion? Or is there something else at play here? 
be sure to leave your thoughts and theories in the comments. Hmm, I don't know. It doesn't sound, I've got to be honest, it doesn't sound like a dog, right? Because when dogs yawn, they sometimes they just go, ah, like that, you know, they make like high pitched noises. But that did sound like a whisper. What do you reckon? Hmm? Number eight. A woman on TikTok named Sierra typically posts wholesome and lighthearted videos to her account of her daily life and her exciting adventures. But two videos in particular on her account stand out like sore thumbs. In the first video, Sierra says that she was home alone filming a vlog about the brand new house that she just purchased, when all of a sudden, she began to experience something quite strange. Sierra is shown standing on a ladder trying to do something with a closet doll. When out Mate, I almost broke my legs, both of my legs with these things, right? These things here. It collapsed. I was, it was, I was this high up, okay? It was one of these four, four ladder things, right? And I was trying to sort out a, the rose type thing, the light, right? And it collapsed and I just free fell. I just ramboed it. Boom! On my legs, mate. Out of nowhere, this happens. What the fuck was that? Mate, a portal just opened up or something from another dimension. What, what would you do if you heard that, mate? In a brand new house, F that. Why is she recording herself anyway? It's gotta be the most boring thing to record yourself from, like... Masking up bloody walls. Wow, um, that's a nice house. How did you... How did you get out there? That door... Oh, okay. Oh, bless. Okay, so that was the door. Okay, let's try this again. There's no way that this is a thing. I don't think you understand. There and the dog's out there again! That she could... The dog's like, what the fuck have I done? Hey? Unlock that. Open it. Shut it. And lock it. How are you doing this? Randomly, her dog was outside trying to get <laughs> back inside. But Shiera did not put the dog outside in the first place. <laughs> a few moments later, she proceeds to continue with what she was doing before. Dogs are epic. But again, the same thing happens. She goes to check the back door and shockingly, her dog is once again locked outside. But how did the poor dog get outside in the first place? It's a mystery that is obviously quite baffling for Shiera. <sighs> is it possible that there is some strange spirit that is messing around with her and putting her dogs outside to give her a good scare. If so, what is the motive behind it, if any? In a second video from Sarah's account, she states that her sister and her fiancé were trying to paint a nursery when randomly out of nowhere, this happens. Maximum doors or little person, please! Shit, mate. Oh, I would be so pissed off if I bought a beautiful house like that and it's haunted. I'd be like, oh, fuck off. Hey? Eh? I would be, mate. I'd be so pissed off. <laughs> ha I can't get over those doors. No. <laughs> the door to the room that they are painting in closes without any explanation, much to the confusion of everyone. A couple of seconds go by, and Shira's sister decides to go investigate, and then, shortly thereafter, the dog closes once again, 
before the video ends. Ooh, man. What could possibly be going on inside of Shiera's home? And why is this stuff happening if the home is brand new? It's not as though the house is decades old and there were previous tenants there. It's quite a baffling case, so I'm curious if you guys have any theories on this story. If you do, please feel free to share them in the comments down below. Mm, very peculiar, number seven. A TikTok user named Dario Beedi says that he was staying at the Appalachian Mountains overnight with his family, but they did not know that it is one of the most haunted places out there. In the video, we watch as Dario is seen sitting in a nice hot tub outside in the middle of the night trying to enjoy himself, but while this is going on, something is terrifying Dario and his family. Although they try to relax, they can't help but hear an extremely bizarre and unsettling noise coming from somewhere nearby that they cannot quite explain. And honestly, neither can I. Have a listen. Yeah, that was a car, that was a car. Who's the aliens, bro? I was just gonna say that's by the aliens, mate. Run! I think it's a train. The dash is scary. <coughs> okay, do you guys want to go inside? No, no. no. Wow. Stop. <laughs> I'm recording this shit. Oh, man. Believe it or not, the noise that you're hearing in the video is not background music, but rather something that Dario and his family were hearing while out in the hot tub. Much to their Mate, I would love to hear something like that. I'd be really intrigued. I don't think it would scare me. I'd be like, what is that? I have to try and find out what it is. Aura. What it was. Sadly, Dario says that he was never able to figure out the source of the noise, but says that he now knows that the Appalachian Mountains are very haunted indeed. So it's probably not likely that he will ever return there to stay a second night. Oh, okay. Hey, these are good videos, mate. Number six. It better not be a white person. That, that sounds racist. <laughs> this better not be a white a white person. It, no, fucking. This better not be somebody wearing white just flapping on the side of a road again, right? Or stood by the side of the road. road somebody wearing white, all right? It, it better not be. It wasn't racist. <laughs> The popular subreddit Unexplained is home to some of the most bizarre and confusing videos that you can possibly watch on the internet. The kind of videos that will truly make you scratch your head and wonder what exactly you're looking at. And while the subreddit is filled with baffling clips, the one that you're about to watch, published by user QNKO Dickens, is by far one of the most baffling on the entire- Flashing blue seagulls! Okay, this is not some white spirit in the side of a road. This is blue seagulls, mate. What? I never expected that. Community. The uploader writes that he was simply trying to unwind and have a smoke in the middle of the evening while on his terrace, when he noticed something up above that made him feel unsettled. Take a look. Oh my, what the actual F is going? Nah. What? For some strange and creepy reason, the seagulls that can be seen flying in front of the uploader seem to be flashing the color blue. The uploader writes that it looked almost like electricity was shocking them. Don't feed the bloody seagulls, mate. Right? That's another reason not to feed the seagulls. This is what happens. They start flashing blue. Holy... Mate, is that one of those, like, um... Is that one of those, like, TikTok effects? You know when you can record yourself and it makes you do, like, some weird, like... You know the dancers, they do it and they get, like, like neon lights flash through them and stuff. Is it that? But the seagulls did not appear to be disturbed in the slightest. He also says that it wasn't someone's laser doing this either. The uploader is asking for help from the... What are we actually seeing here, man? This is mental! What? 
Mate, this is mental. Nah. What exactly was going on with the seagulls that night? It's definitely one of the weirdest videos that I have seen in quite a long time. I don't know if I can I don't know if I can accept that. I don't think I can accept it, mate. Can you accept that? And I honestly a don't have any sort seagull? of explanation that comes to me, at least at the moment. Let's just hope that this eerie mystery gets solved soon, because for the time being, I think a lot of us are going to remember this video the next time we see a seagull out in the wild. Hey. Number five. Hannah Viverette has a popular TikTok account in which she frequently posts videos of herself doing various dance routines and exercises for her half a million followers to watch and enjoy. Of course, anyone with that huge of a following is bound to have some extremely creepy people following their account. However... Oh yeah, I didn't realize that. Are you creepy? Are you a creepy bastard? Huh? Sometimes a creep takes things way too far and invades the person's personal space quite literally. All right, Sir Spooks, you trying to freak me out, mate, and you? You got more than 500,000. Which is exactly what happened here. This video posted to Hannah's account in November of 2020 showcases Hannah performing a dance routine while in her living room, trying to entertain and make her viewers happy. Things seem to be going perfectly well for the first little while of the video, but in just a few seconds, this seemingly fun and light-hearted video takes a seriously sinister turn that you won't expect. I want to see you dancing. I like to see you dancing. Dance for me, please. Let's see it again, because I interrupted it. Sorry. It's the turn that you won't expect. That's freaking me out, mate. Look at the shock in her face. Oh. Am I your friend, you fucking weirdo bastard? Yes. Who are you? Please get out of my apartment right now. Please get out of my apartment right now. Oh shit. No, I remember. This is a couple of years old, mate. I remember this. What a fuck. Get a job. This is literally somebody needs a job. Like, what goes through your head? What goes through your head? Huh? When did you think that would be a good idea? Get out! Get out! Holy Hello? shit! Out of nowhere, Fucking a creepy hell. man proceeds to climb Hannah's second story balcony. Oh shit, he climbed the balcony like fucking Venom, mate. Get inside of her house. When she notices the man inside of her place, she is obviously extremely oh freaked out God. and demands the man to leave. But unfortunately, it is not that easy and he doesn't obey. Mate, you, you can tell by the body language. This isn't fake, mate. She's protecting her fucking vital organs right now. Jesus, man. He even asks her if she's friends with him, at which point she clearly tells him no. Are you sure? Him, Are you sure? Uh, fucking let me think about this. No! Get the F out! Once again that he needs to leave. Thankfully, the man does eventually leave, but it was not easy for him to actually listen to her. Sadly, it seems as though this scary incident may have freaked Hannah out so much to the point where she stopped doing TikTok videos. Something that oh. she clearly loved doing. Oh, what? No, no, no. Are you just saying that, Sir Spooks, just to make it a little bit more hard-hitting? Right? Come on, she didn't stop doing that now. Until this point. 
after this video, she only ever posted one more video a couple of months later, and that was back in January of 2021. It's oh shit, no! It's just sad to think about the fact that there are people this scary in the world. Oh fuck, what, a, what an absolute dickhead, right? If you're at home and you're thinking about doing that, right, to somebody, even the, even you might think in your head, no, I reckon if she saw my face, she might fancy me. She won't! She won't! You do that shit? No. She won't. Number four. A woman on TikTok named Valeria posted a video to her account where she starts it off by saying as quietly as she can that she swears that there is somebody outside of her room, despite the fact that she lives alone. She then stops talking to listen in on her surroundings. At first, the house seems to be quiet, but then out of nowhere, it becomes abundantly clear that there most definitely is a visitor in Valeria's home. I swear there's someone outside my room. Wait. Hey. Hey. Mate, if there was somebody outside your room, and you're really quite sort of like, I'm alone now. The doors are locked. This shit's never happened to me before. And I'm hearing voices on the outside of my room. Hang on just one second. Uh, record. I think there's somebody outside my room. Hey. Fuck off. Sorry, we'll watch it. But this is, this is BS, mate. Look at the look at the non fear in her in her eyes there. Look. Hey. Although hey. it is it is pretty freaky. Kick it down! What do I do? What do I do? See, I would have I would have gone to the other level, mate. If I was faking the video like that, I would have gone <clears throat> I would have I would have gone I would have done it like this. I would have gone. Hey. 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 Like really <sighs> Like that, you know? Ooh, that would have been freaky. An extremely creepy voice can be heard saying the word hey from somewhere close by in her home. Luckily, Valeria doesn't go out to investigate, which was the smart thing to do, in case she walked out of the room and something bad happened. She instead decides to wait a few seconds and then stands up and walks over to her open bedroom door and proceeds to close it. She then ends the video by asking her followers what she could do. In an update video, she goes on to say that sometimes other creepy things happen in her house too, such as instances in which she hears her pets making noises outside of her room, even when they are in there with her. She also says there have been instances in which she heard people calling her cats from other rooms, in addition to lights turning on and off all by themselves. A lot of people in the comments- Was that a cat having a crap? Of all by themselves. Oh, I thought it was on a toilet having a crap for some reason. A lot of people in the comments of these videos seem to be convinced that a mimic is living inside of Valeria's home which definitely seems like a believable yet scary possibility. One commenter said, quote, A mimic is a being that can sound like you or loved one, but more robotic. Don't ever listen for them. Oh, Don't go robotic. Hey! 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 Do you believe in life of the love? Go investigate. Just ignore it, because they will lure you away. End quote. 
I think it's good advice, not just for Valyria, but for anyone that is going through a similar situation. Number three. A man named Tommy Wells posted video to his YouTube channel on June 10th, 2011, which seemingly showcases an ordinary birthday party gone terribly awry, quite suddenly. Mm. At the start of the video, a woman, presumably Tommy's wife, is showing off the family member sit Oh yeah, I remember seeing this years ago, mate. This is freakish shit. Sitting around the kitchen, getting ready to light the candle on the young girl's cake. This will mess me up. It's a cute moment at first, and you'd be forgiven for thinking the video is nothing more than a wholesome home video of a young girl's birthday. But in just a few moments, this ordinary video turns into anything but. Happy birthday, dear Christina. Happy birthday to you. Yay! Yay. Come on! Come on! Girl. All you right. gonna blow that? Yeah. All right. Hey, get along or do you want me to? Go ahead. I'm around the camera. All righty. Daddy's cutting the cake. Did you like the bicycle and stuff you got for your birthday? Oh, my God, Tommy. It's going to start again. Oh, my God, damn. No. It ain't gonna mess everything up. He's gonna mess this up for come everybody on. now. Come on, sissy. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. I don't know what's gonna happen. Come on. It's ridiculous. Hey, I'm sorry, baby. Seems like it's I'm messing everything up for a second. It's okay. It'll be alright. God, okay. I wish you had this at Jerry's house. Okay. It might it's not be just anything else, okay? This stuff is starting again. Right. I'm sorry, sweetie. It'll be okay. Prison. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Out of nowhere. Mate, I remember I first saw that when I was first getting into like the paranormal stuff, right? It freaked me the F out. But because I've seen so many of these now, it's like, um, uh, it's the skeptic coming into me a bit more. Like, you know, I was mind blown when I first saw that. The kitchen sink begins to turn on by itself, and then a couple of seconds later, the cabinets and drawers begin to open and close repeatedly, causing the children in the room to scream. You see, that's the thing, the, the children are really screaming, like, you know, and I just don't, I, I think that's a pretty, pretty tough trick to play on your kids, right? I don't know, I still think that's pretty damn weird, that video, mate. I mean, like, as in... It's suspicious as in sort of, it could could be borderline real. Well, I'm not too sure. I can't make up. It's freaky though, man. It's freaky. Like they're recording a birthday, which, you know, seems legit, right? You record birthdays. So you haven't just randomly got a video camera out. It starts off slow and like the, the, the woman's like, oh, not again. Like it's already going to happen. And then it was it was the drawers that sort of made me think, oh, like back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Just seemed a bit sort of stereotypical. But then they started flying out and the girl started screaming. I don't know, it just, oh, it's pretty freaky, man. Unfortunately, despite the fact that this video is over a decade old, we have never gotten any sort of concrete explanations for what exactly was going on in the video. But we can only hope that this family is doing a lot better these days. And we can only hope that the children who experienced this firsthand were not traumatized for life. Yeah. Next time, go around Jerry's! Number 10. A YouTube channel known as Derex90 posted a video to his account on May 27th, 2011, in which he and a friend are wandering around inside of a school that his friend asked him to go and check out with him as he is thinking of transferring to it. He said that his friend wanted to videotape it so he could then look at the footage later with other school videos to compare them and ultimately decide which school he wants to transfer to. Mm. This particular video shows the duo heading inside to check out the Texas Lutheran University, mm. which looks to be quite nice upon first inspection. But that all changes rather quickly. Getting bad vibes about this. It's really cool because we've got student shows, we've got professor shows, and a couple times a semester they have I'm getting bad vibes about this, mate. Really nice. 
This is our sculpture hallway. Again, Suck it out! Lick a yell! Anybody can attend and it's really nice. This is our sculpture hall. Fucking look at you, you silly little bitch! Huh? Oh, God! The hallway. And down here we've got printmaking. Um. Oh, it's like the Blair Witch. And down here we've got printmaking. Bitch. Um, we'll see if there's a professor there that can talk to you about that. Sometimes they hang out during the summer. Hey, Sam, man, didn't you come here to do sculpture, though? That's kind of true. Um, maybe we could go look at the sculptures and yeah. stuff. What is that in the front? Is that somebody at the front? Is this somebody? Sculpture, though. That's kind of true. Um, maybe we could go look at the sculptures and stuff. Yeah, definitely. We'll go down the sculpture hallway, see if there's any classrooms open. Uh, sometimes they leave, like, senior seminar and some student work from last semester in the classrooms. We'll see if maybe there's something left over. Maximum megapixels, please! For you to look at. Here's some professor classrooms right there, and then these are all the art classrooms. I think this one... Oh, I don't know. As you can see, at one point in the video, while on the guided tour with his friend and the tour guide, the camera pans to the right, and we can see a mysterious ghostly figure looming in the hallway for a few seconds, before the cameraman returns to the other point of view, and continues walking forward. <laughs> he says that nobody saw the entity when the video was filmed, and they only noticed it when they eventually replayed the footage, watching it back at a later date, and ultimately getting the scare of a lifetime. Yeah. To the surprise of nobody, the uploader mentions that upon seeing the video, his friend has officially ruled out this place as a possible school for him to transfer to. <laughs> Let's just hope that he eventually found a nice school to transfer to, one that doesn't have any ghosts in it, preferably. Mm. Number one. Chris from the YouTube channel Urbex Urbex. Hill is once again Come heading on. out in the wild to explore some of the world's most terrifying and haunted locations. And this time, he is venturing back to the over 90-year-old Robert Fulton School, which he previously visited in the past for exploration videos. I think I... I don't know if I've seen... Despite encountering some pretty terrifying stuff... I, I, I don't know whether I've seen this one. ...from this previous video there, he decided that he wants to wander back there again to see if this time things would be any different. For the first little while of the video, things seem to be going quite well for Chris, who isn't encountering anything downright scary right away. But that all changes at around the 12 minute mark when this happens. Is this the one where he sets his camera on the desk? That was another tap, by the way. What? But if the creepy knocking noises weren't enough, Chris then proceeds to place his camera down on a yeah. desk, positioned nearby. Seen it. And it's right here in which Chris accidentally records something absolutely bone-chilling. Yeah. I'm gonna let it play because it's a good one. If you haven't seen it. Did you see it? Did a you man see it? Seen passing by at the end of the hallway. What was this man doing in the building? Was he simply trying to investigate the building as well, or did he have more sinister intentions? We will never know. Then about 30 seconds later, Chris finds himself in for even more scares. All these deaths behind. You can hear in his voice, he's freaking out. You, uh, I don't think you can... Yeah, I don't think you can fake that sort of breathing. I mean, I suppose you can. But I don't know, mate. He, he does seem legit on this. Somebody's dying. Now. 
Before Chris can even get a chance to leave though, things escalate rather quickly. Take a look at this. There's somebody talking. Somebody's talking. I know I would reverse the role, right? I would shine my torch and go, hey, who are you? You should be in here, get out. You know? That's what I would do. Some more strange noises can be heard. A man with a gun can be seen on camera, and gunshots can be heard. I think it's safe to say that after these horrifying experiences at the school, that this is probably going to be the last time that Chris explores the Robert Fulton school. I don't know, mate. He's got balls of steel like me. Like, you know, he'll go back in there. Or is it stupidity? I'm not... <laughs> can you really blame him? They were incredible. What do you reckon? Anyway, thank you so much for watching. And remember, please subscribe if you like this type of stuff and UFOs, aliens, and what weird stuff, okay? I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Get the merch at kaspersite.com. Just Rambo it.